Hi, this is Carlton again with another video entitled seven ways to make a YouTube video. This is actually an excerpt from our um, longer video entitled building the good job YouTube channel part two. Um, so I just wanted to, to have this video by itself so you could see um, seven of the ways that we looked at in developing our YouTube videos, making our video trailer, and I hope that you can get some good information from it. So here it is. So there were seven ways that we looked at in making the videos that videos that, and then we tried. Now there are other ways to do it, or other programs to use, but for us, um, there were seven that we went through to try to figure out, okay, what would be the most efficient way to make videos that would um, describe our brand and our channel. And so the seven ways that we looked at included um, use someone else's video. Believe it or not, YouTube does allow you to use someone else's video. The second thing was to get a freelancer to do it. And we actually did hire freelancers to do some of our videos. The third thing is to wing it in front of a camera. Hey, if you have a camera presence and you can do that, then that there may be advantage for you to do that. Also to use free screen recorder and video editor software. Um, and there's some advantages and disadvantages in that as well, which we will talk about. Number five is to use the Camtasia program. It's a program that would allow you to record and edit videos right in one program. Um, number six is to use PowerPoint and put it into Camtasia. And that's something that we did as well. And then number seven is to use Audacity. It's kind of a voice recorder and then put that into Camtasia. And that's something that we did as well. So let's go ahead and get into um, each of these videos. So number one, you can actually use someone else's video and how you would do that or how we did that um, at first is that we went and put in a topic. For example, we put in career development. And then once we did that, we went up to the area which said filter, we clicked on filter and over to the right, you click creative commons. And so when you click creative commons, all these videos are videos that people would allow you to reuse. So I'm going to click on this video career development. I'm going to scroll down where it says show more. And when I click on that, if you scroll to the bottom, you would see, ah, creative Commons. The license is that reuse is allowed. And so the advantage of using someone else's video is that you can build a channel very quickly. You can just take someone else's video you can post one two three or four videos a day as recommended by the uh, YouTube influencers you need to post a lot of videos today you can get a lot of watch time um, and but the disadvantage to that is that if you're building your own brand then the videos may not really reflect your own brand and you may not get the number of subscribers that you want so but you know you can use other people's video in fact this video that you're watching is a Creative Commons attribute license video. If you want to reuse it for your channel and say, hey, good job said I can use their channel, I may have at it. You know, you can use it anywhere that you want. This is a Creative Commons video and you have a free license to be able to use it. The second way to make a video is using um, freelancers to do your videos. Um, you could use Fiverr.com to look for a freelancer to do your video. Um, you could also go to Upwork.com to look for a freelancer to do your video. Um, or you can go to Freelancer.com to look for um, a freelancer to do your video. And actually, we use all three of these. The advantage to using a freelancer to do your video is that you can get some really cool videos. You can have somebody else do that part of the work if you're not an expert at it or you're not proficient at it while you are doing something else, like you're doing some scripts or you're doing, you're writing some information uh, about a description, whatever. You can be doing another part of your channel while somebody else is doing the freelancer part and in fact when we were doing our channels or the uh, the videos for it we um, were doing a um, free um, career development training and we had a couple of people we were training them how to be freelancers and we said to them hey you know if you become freelancers you know and you sign up for one of these programs we will hire you to do some videos for us and that's what happened the downside of it is that it could be very expensive you can see here we spent $250 for um, one video 500 for another 500 for another um, and it can be very expensive 
expensive, but we thought it was worth it since we were training people to become freelancers and we decided, decided to hire them as well. So that is number two on how you can um, actually create some videos. Now, number three is that you could get in front of a camera and you could wing it like these YouTubers are. Um, the advantage of this is that, hey, if you are personable or we have something about you that is that it's attractive to somebody in one way or another, you can create a lot of videos and people can start liking you, you know, for the things that you do or you say. So that's a good advantage um, of if you want to wing it in front of the camera. And also if you um, have, are somebody that um, has a camera presence where you are able to uh, um, guide people through things or give them instructions or show them, show them something that's really different. People are visual. They like to see things in motion. The downside to that is that if you are not a camera person, you may come off as somebody um, who is not very good and your channel will just die. So that's another um, way to be able to uh, make videos. Now, number four is that you could actually use a screen recorder, meaning that you would um, find a free uh, download recorder software. You would use it to record your screen. You can even put a video insert in there. Um, what's good about this is that the, um, the screen recorders are free. And so they give a list. There's a video called the top five free screen recorders. And I'm going to put a link to this actual video in the description area so you can watch it yourself. And so they give you the top five free videos here. And then you can see them demonstrate some of these videos. This is the ice cream screen, um, ice spring free cam, the open broadcast software, the Vita shadow play and smart pixel screen recorder. Again, I'm going to have a uh, link to the actual video where they show you a little bit about how to use each one of these um, if you want to use a free screen recorder. In addition to that, you're going to have to have a way to edit the record that you do. And so there are um, top five video ed editors that go along with that. And again, I'm going to take this video. This is an actual video. I'll put the link to this video again in the de description area. And it gives you recommendations as to uh, Lightworks is a good video editor. It's an open shot, uh, shortcut, a hit film express and davinci resolve and they go over you know just a little bit of examples of how to use each one and that's really good to have and again the pros of it is that it's free the con of it at least for me is that you need one free software to do the capturing of the video and another one to do editing and so you have to learn how to use both of them and they're upgrading all the time a lot of them are free and then if you want to use some of the most um, advanced tools you may have to pay for it so you know there's some trade-offs and so what I want to go to is number five and this is a way that we use and that is actually using a uh, Camtasia we use the Camtasia 2018 version now there's a video that's five ways to use Camtasia I'm going to put a link to this video in the description area below and so what I like to do is that I like to be able to use Camtasia because I have both the recording and the editing in one place and so and if you're using Camtasia there's a couple of ways that you could use it let me just show you one way to use Camtasia one of the ways that that um, I've used Camtasia before is that if I want to get snippets of a number of different um, um, free videos or those videos where there are Creative Commons ones, then I can just go up here to the record area up to the um, left and then I could, um, I'm going to move my record button over here. Then in the search area, um, what I could do is I could just go to click here and I can put in a topic like career development motivation. Then I could use a Creative Commons one. I can click the filter button. I will choose Creative Commons. And then all the rest of these videos are videos that I could use with no license restrictions. So if I choose one of them, I can record it for you know a few seconds or a few moments. And this is really how people, um, people who do the um, you know the the compilation videos. A lot of them would use a program like Camtasia, get all of the Creative Commons ones, and then just put them back to back to back. Okay, I'm, let me just uh, use a few seconds of this one. I'm gonna choose pause. I'm gonna go back and find another video. And these are all Creative Commons. I'm going to un 
I'm going to resume and I'm going to choose this one for a few seconds and people choose it for longer. Um, then I'm going to go back for another one. Oh, let me click uh, pause and then I'm going to go back and let me scroll down and look for another video to include. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, hey, yeah, this one. I'm going to choose this one and then I'm going to click my resume button and then Camtasia is recording another section of this video. Then I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to stop this. It's going to go back to Camtasia. I want to click on play and look, you can see. So I have all of these videos that I've captured from back to back to back. I, I am making a compilation of this. And if you see a lot of compilation videos, people who use recorders and editors use compilation videos, especially when they use a lot of the Creative Commons videos. Okay, so that is Camtasia. Let me just go ahead and stop that. Um, and then the next thing that you could use Camtasia for, um, if you don't want to use it directly, is that I like to use it with PowerPoint. And for example, I have a very simple um, PowerPoint presentation. And the reason why that I like to use the PowerPoint is because you can do a lot of your editing, your animation, your transitions right here in PowerPoint first, and then transfer them over to Camtasia. So let me just do an example of this. I'm going to go to where it says the add-ins section here, and it has a Camtasia add-in with a click record. And as I'm doing the um, presentation, and I'm going to go ahead and go through it, um, it's actually being recorded in PowerPoint and then I could transfer this over into Camtasia. So let me just go ahead and run this um, presentation, just three slides. I'm just, and I'm doing the animations here right in PowerPoint. So once I'm done, then I can click the stop recording. Uh, let's see, I am going to put it in the PowerPoint, I'm going to click save. I'm going to click OK here and then boom there it is and then what i'm going to do is that i'm going to drag it right into my timeline and toward the bottom and then i can actually just go ahead and click no i don't need any point slides and then when i'm playing it there it is in um, Camtasia. Now the red lines around here is because I'm recording it as I'm playing it so you won't see the red lines but look what it's doing. It's actually um, showing my video that I made in PowerPoint and have all the animations in there as well. So this is what I really liked doing from PowerPoint to Camtasia and there it is. And so now method number seven is that we're going to actually use Audacity to create our voice first and then actually get it into Camtasia. And the reason why that you may want to do this is because you may hire somebody to do a voice or you're more comfortable in doing your voice recording first and then you want to add graphics on top of it. So when I use Audacity, I'll just start by opening up the program. I'll just go ahead and click OK. I'm going to make sure I'm using my Yeti mic and I'll just click here to make sure my vocal levels are all okay. When I'm ready to record, I just click this record button here and then start my recording. Hey everybody, this is me. We're going to talk about people today and people are wonderful and we love them. Now I'll go ahead and click stop. I'm going to go to file and I'm going to choose export audio. So when I do that, I'm going to just give it a name, test one, click save, and then click OK here. Once I do that, I'll just go to Camtasia, click this plus sign here and choose import media. I'll choose my audio file here that I just created, click open, and there it is. Now I'll bring this down to one of the tracks and then I can see if I can hear it. Hey everybody, this is me. We're going to talk about people. Okay, so that's good. Now, once I have my audio track there together, now I can put on top of that either some graphics or some video. What I like to do is that I like to use a um, site that's called Pexels, P-E-X-E-L-S.com. And here it has a bunch of high definition free photos and videos. And then I can just download them. I can just see if I want some photos. I'll download this one. Um, I will find another photo of people. Since we're doing about people, I'll download this one since it's for free. Um, I will find, let's just find a third one. I'll just find a third one. How about these people here? I'll click this. I'll download this. And then I'm done. And once I do that, then I'm, I'll go ahead and go back to Camtasia and I will go back to the plus sign, choose import media. 
I'm gonna look at my downloads here. Those are the three files that I selected. I'll just go ahead and click open. They are there and I'll just drag that to my area where I'm going to select three of them, put them here right next to my audio. Um, okay, and there they are. All right, one, two, three. And then once I play it, I not only have... Hey everybody, this is me. We're gonna talk about people today and people are wonderful and we love them. So there it is. That is how I use Audacity with Camtasia. Okay, so those are the seven ways that we actually have used to create videos for our Good Job channel. And so right now, we primarily use number six, the PowerPoint to Camtasia, because you know we wanna add some graphics, we wanna add some training to some videos. And so we like that method and it works for us. You need to decide what method works for you. So you're gonna to need to put in the time to search, you know, try different methods, see which, what is a bet best fits your style and then just run with it and no matter what method you use you are going to need some tools and be able to develop your um, your um, YouTube channel videos so I want to suggest that you would check the description area below we put some links in there if you want to get the Camtasia program you can actually have we have a link for that if you want to get the audacity program we have a, a link for that as well and we have links for other things that you may need if you're going to actually wing it and, and stand before a camera you're gonna need the, the right camera to use the right lighting the right microphone I use a Yeti mic for this so um, you should um, look at the tools that um, I've used and other YouTube influencers have recommended for you to use okay so now we are back um, remember that this video comes from our longer video entitled the building the good job YouTube channel part two um, in this video we are going through our journey and building the good job YouTube channel and we're sharing what we're learning with you um, it's also um, going for our quest to become a YouTube program partner so I just want to say thank you very much for watching this video if there's something that you got out of it then what I'd like for you to do is please uh, go ahead and click the like button or the and share it with somebody and go ahead and subscribe I would really appreciate that thank you and have a great day Thank you.